Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back. It's your boy Skylar, and today we got when YouTuber will mess with real gangsters. All right, new here, been here before. As always, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let's get it. You know what? Let me make this shit full screen first. From getting punched oh! to getting shot because real life isn't the same as online, here are seven times dumb influencers messed with the wrong people. Starting with never possibly learn. the most annoying creator in existence, Jack Doherty. His nice. daredevil stunts and pranks, some of which are illegal, have had the police being called on him various times. For the remainder of your time, you need to put me forward. I think I'm allowed to record yeah. for my personal... Yeah. You're in my custody. Now Jack's behavior during his streams grew increasingly disturbing with his move to Los Angeles, eventually leading him to getting involved in serious situations with his fellow influencers. One such example was his altercation with Fusi. Yeah. In August 2023, Jack was streaming live with Fusi and Neon when Fusi decided to throw water at Jack I, for calling me him a personally, I wouldn't consider Fusi too by real gangster, but beta male. <laughs> Yo, you're a The situation then escalated when Fusi swung back at Jack after he continued making comments. However, Jack's fans defended him a lot. Fusi is actually in the worst state I've ever seen him in, and he comes across as a nasty and disgusting person. The way he treated Jack was I just mean, crazy. To be honest, though, he ain't wrong. Fusi Tube is losing his shit. But this wasn't the only time Jack's offhand comments have gotten him into trouble. Just a month later, Jack got involved in a heated argument with the Island Boys. As the argument escalated, one of the twins decided to slap Jack in front of the camera. This quickly became a pattern as he once again found himself on the receiving end of a slap, this time from a stranger who was allegedly offended by a t-shirt worn by his bodyguard. Go wa walk away. Now the irony of provoking and disrespecting someone while cowering behind security guards is out of this world. But that seems to be Jack's strategy, causing conflicts for his bodyguards to clean up, all for clout. Bro, just watching this is making my boy, like my blood boil, bro. It's so like, how can someone be so fucking annoying? <laughs> like, you don't even know this person, like personally, and they're so like, you just want to like strangle them, bro. Having a bodyguard to defend your battles after starting them is the most small man syndrome thing I can think of. Max. And while Jack is at least aware that he's annoying and picks on weak targets, the same can't be said about Neon, who got reality checked much harder than just a slap. Neon first got the taste of Cloud for playing <laughs> dumb on December 21st, 2019, when he uploaded a video titled, Neon is Dying. Two days later, on December 23rd, he- I can't believe this little shithead literally fake his own death. Just for Clout. <laughs> bro, Clout is one hell of a drug, bro. a video called Neon's Final Words. Another three days went by, and on December 26th, it was announced that Neon was gone. However, only five days later, on December 31st, he uploaded a video telling his fans that he survived, and that it only took two days for him to recover from his brain tumor and seizure. A lot of people made fun of him, making sarcastic comments such as, He came, he conquered, he died, he resurrected. Were you killed? Sadly, yes, but I lived. I'm so sad he died, but he's alive. This encouraged Neon even further, as in mid-2023, a video of him getting beat up surfaced. However, this time around, a lot of people knew about his spineless behavior and weren't taking things at face value. To be honest, that was kind of like smart on his end because like his audience is mostly, it got to be like no one older than watching his type of content, right? So he's smart for the whole bullying, being like the victim, whatnot. People are going to start feeling sorry for him so he played he played it real good he played a victim card real good anymore believing the video was fake from the start bro no one gets caught lacking in the middle of a field and gets their short ripped but their glasses stay on his shirt not even dirty and they in dirt now it's possible <laughs> no one ever told neon about the boy who cried wolf you know if you intentionally disrespect the wrong person they'll give you a reality check and rightfully so neon bit down Punch him in his shit. Well deserved. Get on your hands and knees. Get on your hands you and knees. You're Arabian psychopath. Take it, bro. Oh my. Oh my. All right, all right, all right. Oh my heart. Say sorry. But this wouldn't be the only time someone taught Neon a lesson. This just goes to show that when it comes to a fight, it's really not all about physical strength or being outnumbered. 
You either know how to actually fight, or you don't. There's also a chance that Neon's just a marketing genius being a decent actor in his live streams. But even when going over the top, he can't- No, I ain't gonna lie, that kid smacked the shit out of him. <laughs> you either know how to actually fight, or you don't. There's also a chance that Neon's just a marketing genius being a decent actor in his live streams. But even when going over the top, he can't match the toxicity of Jerka, a creator so vile Twitch permanently banned him from appearing on their site. Jerka initially made a name for himself as a just chatting content creator on Twitch. However, he soon diverged to criticizing people such as Andrew Tate on both YouTube and Twitter. How many rounds? Oh, no fuck up that bald midget. How many rounds? I wanna fight I'm you. taller, I'm strong. Anything for clout. <laughs> Anything for clout. Bald. These guys are pathetic, low life, no genuine burning desire from any of their women. While at the same time promoting even worse ideals on top of glorifying drug usage. I got money. So I get executive, that doesn't kill me. He also often talks about the Earth being flat and many other conspiracy theories. Remember, if the Earth's a globe, the Bible's not real. If the Earth had dinosaurs, the Bible's not real. Um, literally every angle is an attack on the Bible, right? This stupidity would eventually make him- Even, even- oh. <laughs> Bro, even though I'm thinking his face was like- <laughs> Attack on the Bible. Right? This stupidity would eventually make him start a beef with HS Tiki Talkie and popular streamer Aiden Ross, causing his like... outrage on social media by making derogatory comments regarding HS Tiki Talkie's mother, as well as Aiden Ross's former partner, Pammy. Jerka oh. then took the rivalry to new heights when he suggested that he'll find HS Tiki Talkie and fight him on the streets. And he did just that. Oh, boys! 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 <laughs> Oh. Imagine going to pick a fight, right? Then got dropped. Down. Unsurprisingly, the oh, only shit thing was he sweet. managed to do was merely show his butt crack to the world and get embarrassed, making him out to be a laughing stock for everyone. Zerka is the literal definition of the loudest in the room is usually the weakest. Zerka has the agility of an armadillo and the balance of a toddler. Zerka may possibly be his own worst enemy, but the same can also be said about Sneeko, whose recent stunt had him hit much worse. This guy, who first got famous for his video, Would You Say the N-Word for a Dollar? eventually started becoming <laughs> extremely disliked by left-wing viewers due to his supposed misogynistic, homophobic, and transphobic content. Oh. They can ask us what we do. First question when you go on a date, what do you do? They're just asking how much money do you make, but you shouldn't ask a woman her age. <laughs> Why? Why? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Let me see the stats. What's your body count? How old are you? How much you weigh? Tell me. As Sneeko went on to upload social political commentary and hot takes, his ideals led him into situations that quickly developed into beefs. One such instance was in May 2022, where Sneeko responded to Penguin Zero's video live. Look like, you look, look at the curtain pulled all the way down. You need to get some sun. The whole way you're living life like a f***ing a man, you calling him a virgin, you are literally a man child. Now this did not go down well with Penguin <laughs> Zero who later uploaded a video titled, I didn't want to talk about this, calling out Sneeko for making fun of his girlfriend, as well as criticizing him for defending the movie Cuties. He defended that? No. It's, it's not an unrealistic film. Like, yes, it shows children in a sexual way, but this is not unusual now. Blaming children. Even if it's not unusual, that doesn't make it okay, though. That that cutie shit, like I surprised Netflix is not like completely canceled, but how people it, it takes like give it a week or two and people some some shit else happen and people memory. Anyways, but yeah, it's just that's because it's you think it's normal. That doesn't make it okay. Like that shit is disgusting. Like that cutie shit, bro. I when I saw that, I'm like Netflix. Is I ain't gonna lie. Children in sexual positions is clickbait. Yikes. Now, Sneeko responded to this on a Rumble stream where Penguin Zero was also live at the time. The two would then continue to trash talk each other back and forth, eventually making Sneeko threaten Penguin Zero with a gun. Watch my clips. Watch my clips. However, I'm we're talking about guys that sit in front of a, a computer, right? And streaming shit. Now they're trying to bring guns into 
Bro, no one's scared, bro. <laughs> no one know, bro. You're not about that life. Like that whole like showing guns and clips. That shit is with a gun. Watch my clips. Watch my clips. However, Penguin Zero then silenced gun? Sneak Up. But he's a f imbecile. You absolute buffoon. What you have there is not clips. These are mags. They're mags, not clips. You absolute. The same way that this yeah, bring is the big boys out. Yeah. Mad. They're all mad. Now this time, the only damage Sneeko suffered was emotional, but that would change not even a year later. In February 2024, he got his toughness checked again as he stepped into the ring with Sean Strickland. Oh, oh this my! This made the internet down. very happy. This nah, that guy that he that <laughs> Sneeko is sparring. Now nah, he been waiting to be his ass. Been waiting. Now that's that's an ass whooping, right? That you held in for a long time, like on it, yeah. <laughs> again, as he stepped into the ring with Sean Strickland, this made the internet very happy. This is the kind of reality check these out of touch streamers need. Sean went from 10% to 50% and showed Sneeko what a good old ass whooping feels like. Strickland should be <laughs> up an influencer weekly podcast. Hell, I'd watch that. However, despite Ew. being destroyed by Sean, Sneeko did have the confidence to step into the ring and take it on the chin, literally. The same thing cannot be said about this next influencer. Aiden Platersky, labeled the Crypto King, owned a crypto kingdom that seemed to be a win-win for everyone. He promised millions for his investors, while he got to drive his fancy cars, fly this his private is. jets, and live in luxury locations. However, as it soon turned out, his $40 million empire was nothing but a giant Ponzi scheme, and he was about to learn the price of being a scammer. Late one night in early December, Aiden was kidnapped, and then beaten and tortured over three days. Eventually, his kidnappers, which included one of his investors, let him go, but they left him with a threat. Pay oh. up fast and don't go to the police. Well, Toronto... I'm, I'm guessing he still went to the police. Police officers still managed to apprehend all of the five kidnappers. But following this, Aiden went on to post a video trying to garner sympathy from his followers. Everything that happened is my fault. I'm not going to put the blame on anybody else. I'm not going to try to put the blame on anybody else. I feel humiliated. Feel disgusted in my actions. I mean, it's well deserved. You're scamming people out of their money, like you're running. <laughs> I feel disgusted what I did. But people would see through his haphazard apology. He's apologizing because he got caught and got his ass whipped, not because he's sorry he scammed people. Zero exactly. sympathy. While his kidnappers would all be charged with the crime, the only person not charged would be Aiden, the scammer who started the whole situation to begin with. I really don't understand how people like Aiden can simply walk free. If I walk into my local supermarket, push the lady at the till, and grab a couple of bucks and walk off, I would be in handcuffs before the sun sets. He Ice. steals millions, admits as much, and no real consequences. Well, until now. But what if getting beat up wasn't the worst injury you could sustain? Tanner Cook, a 21-year-old prankster, is the mastermind behind the YouTube channel Classified Goons. As the name suggests, the pranks are classified as dangerous, making Tanner out to be a tough goon, someone who isn't meant to be messed with, when in fact, it's quite the opposite. While Tanner elicits responses from the victims of his pranks for views, one day, he didn't get the response he expected. Oh, I'd have been punching, I'd have... Whoop, bro, I'm the perfect person, bro. I'm I'm a crash out dummy. I don't give a Invading someone's personal space and then Okay, take it back. This motherfucker pull out the blicky. Oh shit. <laughs> hey, stop. Hey, stop. Damn, he on timing. He on BT. God damn. Invading someone's personal space and then refusing to leave them alone after they tell you numerous times leaves you with one option. You're going to get dealt with by a person who has been pushed too much. Lesson to dummies, do not prank random people or they will prank you. Mm. Never underestimate the public. Tanner, who is much bigger and more intimidating to the shooter, was taught a masterclass in F around and find out. And yet, he still didn't learn his lesson, continuing to upload videos like nothing happened. So you'll continue to make videos? Yeah, probably. We'll see, you know? How disappointed are you about this? So I really don't story? care. I mean, it is what it is. It's God's plan at the end of the day, so. Oh, wait, the guy actually shot him? Oh, 
I th I thought he just like pull it out and warn him. He Damn. All right. You know? How disappointed are you about this? <laughs> I really don't care. I mean, it is what it is. It's God's plan at the end of the day. So Tanner was lucky to make it out despite God's plan. Being shot. Okay. This is something that Timothy Wilkes did not get to experience. Inspired by other pranksters he'd seen, Timothy began dreaming of creating his own YouTube channel, recreating some of the dangerous pranks other YouTubers had done before him. However, this dream got cut short in February 2021 when Timothy, along with a friend, were in the midst of filming a prank robbery as part oh of a YouTube my... video. Oh, with... why? You don't play the... Why would you make a prank about a rob? Why would you fake a robbery, bro? Like every you live in America, bro. This is not the UK. Like, oh, someone pull out a knife and shit. Like, nah, we ha everyone has a gun, bro. Just have to assume someone has the, the person you're talking to has a gun, bro. You can't fake a robbery. Friend, we're in the midst of filming a prank robbery as part of a YouTube video. Armed with butcher knives, they approached a group of people. Unaware of the robbery being a prank, one of those group members shot Timothy in self-defense. Now, in the end, Timothy did get the clout he wanted, but just for the wrong reasons. Bro. Hey, that's it for this video. I hope you always like, comment.